I have this beautiful ball with glitter in it. I know, baby, I'm sorry. I can't keep moving it because Nebula didn't like the ball. I'm going to paper mache it. You've seen this process in the Piranha Plant costume and in my hymns costume with the claws. So it's the same process, just paper mache this ball. Baby girl. I have my ball. I have newspaper or grocery store paper. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm lining my table and I have more of that same paper that I'm going to use. And this is my half blue, half water mixture. Now, if you remember, if you remember from the uh, piranha plant video, I said that you need torn paper, not cut, because the torn edges will give you a smoother finish. I need gloves. I need gloves. I have gloves. Uh, I do enjoy paper mache, so we'll get started and yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it all goes well. I, I think it will go. I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go. Okay, what is that bug hitting my window? You know, one thing I do, uh, I, I always hate is that I love these balls that I purchase and then I cover them with paper and glue. And they still work afterwards, but I have to clean them. And then... All right, so this is uh, pretty much covered and I'm going to let it dry overnight before I start putting the news, the newspaper the paper bags uh, and I still need to cut those up so tear them not cut them tear them but this ball is covered all right I'll see you tomorrow hello I'm on my lunch break so let's switch chairs put on my gloves and I will be covering this in the paper bags. I'm gonna work on that. I only have 30 minutes. Stairs at invisible watch. And let's see how far I can go in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's time for me to go back to work. I will probably finish this up once I'm off. Back to work. I'm on the third layer. And we are outside because Teddy needs to stare at the lizard. After this one, I might put two more layers, a total of five. This was a windy afternoon and the ball tried to escape me again. But luckily, I was able to catch it and finish my layers. Hi everyone, so I wrapped this up in five layers. I did two newspapers and three uh, paper bags. Hi, Chi. The next thing I have to do is sand down the edges to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So now that that's been sanded, I am going to spray paint it with this metallic finish. And I am spray painting it on an old wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, I did want to remind you, um, make sure to keep the ball inside because I didn't do that when I did my piranha plant in my apple costume and you definitely see it go like this. So make sure to keep the ball inside and well inflated. Ready? Well, I don't know where Teddy went. I'm sure he went to our neighbor's yard, but this is what happens when I try to bring them outside and enjoy nature while I'm doing it. 
doing some crafts. He does this all the time. He'll come back. All right, so this is how it's looking now that I finished it. And it looks pretty cool with the paint already. Uh, if you didn't even want to use the little mirrors that I'm going to use, this might be a pretty cool way to make your little disco ball. I would actually just paste smaller squares and use this finish and boom, it'll look really cool. You can even see my reflection there. That's so cool. Hi. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is let that dry and then I will work on putting the mirrors on and try to figure out how I'm gonna make the face. Hi, so the ball's been painted and the next thing I'm going to do is draw the face on the ball. I'm not going to deflate it yet because I want to make sure that I measure out the head opening and the eyes and mouth that I will draw on here. So I have to decide how I want that to look. To find out where I want the face to go, I did a very scientific method by putting the ball right next to my face and drawing the shapes out with pencil. Because I liked it, I went ahead and cleaned it up. I did have to use something to make sure that it was straight. So, you know, just using whatever I have, I got an envelope and tried to straighten out the eyes. I wanted to show you what it looked like, but I realized you can't see it. So to show you, I went ahead and outlined the same areas that I drew with a Sharpie. All right, so now that I have the face drawn on, I am going to deflate my ball and hopefully it comes out smooth because I think the face is super cute and I really want this to come out and I really like the ball, so fingers crossed. Babe, I'm gonna deflate the ball. This is a long process, so bear with me. I'm going to let that keep doing its thing because it is coming undone. I am going to try to create the, the opening for my head. I was finally able to get the ball out of the piece and I thought that the opening I made was going to fit my head, but obviously not. So I had to keep working on that. Okay, so I cut the hole out and I kind of regret it because I said I was going to cover it as much as possible so that when I cut the hole out, I could then cover that section with the mirror and then it would function as an actual disco ball in my room. And I cut it like this. So if you are going to do that, uh, make sure that you measure your head first and then measure out the opening and cut it out with a box cutter. And as always, please be safe when you're using a box cutter or any type of sharp objects. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But this is it. That's the hole. And I can't obviously can't see through through the little face yet, but I wanted to see. I mean, I can't see, but I'm gonna see it. You know what I'm talking about. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out the face and, and eat this first because I'm hungry. After we shared our Rice Krispie, I went ahead and cut the pieces out using my X-Acto knife and a box cutter. I just finished cutting it out. Oh my 
my god, it's so cute. I am so happy with it. So now that we have our piece, I am going to show you what I'm using. I am using these little mirrors. You can see my phone in the ring light. So these little mirrors I did get off of Amazon. I know. And I'll try to put the link down in the description. I am not affiliated or I don't get any money out of it. Maybe one day I will, but not right now. Uh, so I'm going to cover this in all of these little mirrors. However, you do not have to use these little mirrors. I, uh, I did see that there are reflective paper stickers that you can use, which might be a lot safer for children or just for anybody because this is actual glass mirror. It'll, it'll break and it can be dangerous, but you can use a reflective paper or like I, how I mentioned, if you use little paper and just spray it with the spray paint that I have, uh, I think that would look fine as well. But I wanted to use this because I thought I'm going to make an actual disco ball and see how it looks. So I am going to start pasting each one of these on there. It does say that it has an adhesive back. So if I take one off, it is sticky. I don't know if it'll stick. Um, it sticks, but I, it doesn't feel super sturdy. So I will probably use a different glue and an additional glue to make sure that it holds on and it doesn't fall off. But that's what I'm gonna be doing and You'll, I'll show you the progress on it. Uh, I don't think I'll finish today, but I'll show you progress. All right, so I am going to stop here. I just wanted to show you how it's going. There are a few sections that don't have a mirror, but like I said, because I used the, this paint color on the back, you don't really notice is it. You don't really notice it as much but I think it looks good. Uh, I am going to clean up and bake some cookies because I want cookies. So I'm gonna stop here and then I will keep working on it uh, maybe tomorrow and just see how it goes and then I will work on the dress, on the outfit. Days five through seven were pretty much the same thing of putting all these little mirrors on the ball and it gets old. I am so over pacing these little mirrors. Even though I was tired, I still managed to have fun. I obviously had to make some faces, but I got caught by my husband. <laughs> Josh tried it on, uh, it's a little small for his head, but you can already see the lights coming off of it and it's super cute. All right, so the ball is pretty much covered. It's upside down right now, but I don't wanna show the whole thing yet. Uh, what I did wanna show is that I'm going to be using some of the sheer fabric. Uh, this is a blue, but because you won't really see it in the inside, it'll probably just show black and it's fine if it shows blue, no problem. But I'm going to be using this on the holes of the mouth and the eyes so that you don't see it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so I really enjoyed this. Um, it was a really quick make uh, and I love it. I'm, I want to keep this forever. I did want to give some tips that I found um, along the way. Because this is glass, it will shatter and there were quite a few pieces that came up while I was making it. So please be careful if you are going to use this. Like I said, you can use reflective paper, so it could be safe for you and for children if you're making it for a, a little one. When I was cutting out the face, I was putting some pressure at the bottom and it did create a bit of a fold, so be careful when doing that as well. But honestly, other than that, I think this turned out beautiful and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.